Hello again. And in business, IFS Capital Management Company Limited says it is considering moving away from investing in financial equities on the stock market as the company diversifies its investment portfolio as part of strategies to maximize investment profits. IFS hopes to venture into other, th other sectors, including oil and gas and manufacturing. Speaking to Joy Business on the sidelines of the company's second annual general meeting in Accra, General Manager of the IFS Capital, Manfred Brassi, noted the company decided to move out of investing in financial equities as a result of some stocks, some shocks in the banking sector, which account for some losses to the company. We are monitoring Stanchard because it's a very good company. It has done well over the past years, but we are monitoring the pricing. When it starts performing well, we would go back to Stanchard. And as of um, the last quarter, their performance half year was quite good, so we are still considering whether to buy more shares in Stanchard. In this year's um, portfolio allocation, and we are leaving, um, we are not concentrating any longer on the financial stocks we are looking at other manufacturing and other oil companies you know so that the portfolio will be well diversified not only for the financial sector because uh, once the financial sector uh, uh, fails to perform then it means we are losing out so we are really in the process of expanding the portfolio into other uh, industries we have investment in total and we also want to invest in um, oil but you know this is, we have to invest in listed companies and um, we these uh, companies you are talking about they are not listed um, we we know the stallo on on the market but the performance is not you know good enough for us to put in a portfolio at the moment but we are also monitoring that as soon as the performance is is worthy of our clients investment we will do that but basically we are expanding not only the oil sector, the whole manufacturing sector and other industries. Now, the number of commercial banks in the country could increase to about 32 in the coming weeks. This is because two financial institutions are set to roll out full commercial banking operations, possibly from next month. There's more in this report. The two institutions, that is City Investments Company and Union Savings and Loans, are going ahead to roll out their full commercial banking operations after securing the required license from the Bank of Ghana. Sources say Union Savings and Loans is currently working to clear the final hurdle with the regulator to aid its official launch. Joy Business is learning that City Investments Company will be rebranded under a new name, Premier Bank, while its union will be known as Omni Bank. Joy Business understands that the institution has already sent out information to its clients about its new image, whilst it has also started with some internal branding. Joy Business gathers that Union Savings and Loans, which will be known as Omni, will still be heavy on SME financing when it begins its full commercial banking services. All right, so you make a date at 1 p.m. for the marketplace where we talk about the implications of the number, the numbers of commercial banks in the country currently on the industry as well as the economy as a whole. My name is Imano Abuaji. We are up next is Sports. Mm -hmm.